In this tutorial we're going to look at uh, using quotation marks in LaTeX. And we'll look at our document here. It's got a title page and then one other page. And we'll look at the code guide experiment. That's the way to learn. Own it, which means apply your own content to the things that you do learn here. Uh, file extension, always use the .tex file extension code modifications uh, what as we go through the steps watch the lines with the uh, the green comments uh, those are the ones to make sure you get right pay attention to those and you don't need to type them in just just watch those lines and the line numbers to the left they're in blue they're for your reference only uh, don't type them in otherwise the code's not going to compile uh, the code demos after each code block you'll see a, uh, a PDF image of the uh, document that was produced by that code block so you shouldn't have any typing errors or, or anything like that everything should work fine and uh, we'll look at the uh, the actual code for that document here it is and uh, now we'll look at the document one more time okay we're gonna start small so we start on line one with uh, a document class of an article we use in 12 point type and uh, all we're putting out so far is uh, on line three single quoted text so we're gonna start with the single quotes first and uh, now we'll, we'll put that in a section and uh, if you look at line six you'll notice that uh, the uh, the left quote and the uh, right single quote are different you know on a typewriter you, you you're always using the single quote but uh, when 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 you're going to print you actually want to use a different key on your keyboard I think on most keyboards uh, the left quote is the accent uh, symbol and the right quote is just the uh, the regular single quote symbol and you really have no no reason at all to use the double quotes when when typing in LaTeX I think you can get away with it with TechWorks but you really should should stay away from using the uh, the double quotes uh, on the keyboard but if you need double quotes you just use uh, two accent characters on the left and on the right you use uh, the uh, the two single uh, double quotes or two single uh, quotes I'm sorry so here here we go and uh, I think I got ahead of myself because we're, we're just showing the uh, the double quoted text here and you can see on the uh, the first line of the second paragraph we got some uh, some uh, nice double quotes in the output okay and next we're, get, we're gonna look at uh, uh, the problem with uh, nesting quotation marks so you could be nesting uh, single quotes within double quotes or double quotes within single quotes and it's not really clear to LaTeX what you what you what your intent is so you see on on section three we got uh, three single quotes to the left and to the right of uh, confusion and let's see what that does so you could see on the second paragraph uh, you could see it's it's just total confusion apparently uh, LaTeX has no idea you know where where you want things separated you know where, where the double quotes are where the single quotes are so let's go ahead and look at the solution to that and uh, you see on uh, on uh, section four and uh, the fix is a strate strategically placed backslash followed by a uh, a uh, comma and uh, then you see it put to use you see the actual code where where you're, you're putting that backslash with the, the comma where you want it uh, first you got double quotes then the uh, then that command then a single quote and then after no confusion you got uh, the single quote then the command then the uh, the double quote and you could see to the right of there it produces uh, no confusion which is which is what we want okay and uh, just for the heck of it we're gonna add a uh, title page you see on line 9 we've got uh, make title and it, it's gonna use the information from lines 3 4 and 5 for the title author and date uh, commands so let's go ahead and look at that and there it is so we've got that and this is the uh, the bulk of our text here and one more time we'll look at the code and finally that's our that's our page once again and that's it for this tutorial